In this video, we're going to be stripping down this Dyson V10. Right, first of all, I'm going to remove the filter, like that. Give that a wash. And remove the bin as well. Like so. Remove these two screws. And the third one over there, to remove the battery. Remove the six screws here, 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 and also here. After removing those six screws, the cyclone should just slide off like that. Remove these two screws with the Torx T8 screwdriver. Now with the flat screwdriver, you can pry off the white cover. So there's a clip on this side here. Oh, actually mine came off. Yeah, all in one go. So basically that's what it is. So you push this out. And then there you go. So I had to get my Dusty V10 out and take it apart this far because this is all glued up. So be careful if yours is under guarantee. You don't want to break your seal and then void your guarantee. So, anyways. With all that done, you can bend these two metal prongs back. And so the motor's in here. You just pry this out very gently and carefully. And lo and behold, you have successfully reached your destination. The Dyson Digital Motor V10. Look how dusty that is. Extremely dusty, wow. So yeah, just give that a good brush down. Maybe a bit of um, a blasting with an air compressor or something like that to clean it properly. But yeah, that's the dusty motor. Now for the trigger. So to remove the trigger, you need to remove these two screws here. With the screws now removed, you can remove this plastic piece by undoing these two clips on either side. There we go. That lifts out. Gently as it does. And the wires just pull out of the uh, plastic piece. You know, this hole, could just pull it out of there. So now you should be left with something looking like this. There's a single screw in there, which I have removed, like right there. So once you remove that, you can push down on these wires. And there we go. If your trigger's broken, this is a really easy part. The, the red part just literally unclips like so. Like that. And there we have it. So yeah, I pretty much stripped down the entire unit apart from the cyclone. So now it's time to reassemble the vacuum. So you put the spring on the pointy part and then clip the trigger on like so. It's pretty self-explanatory really, but yeah. One side and there you go. You should be doing this. Slide in your trigger assembly by making sure these wires go through that hole and then come out of here. So see how these wires want to come up where the trigger should be. Push those in with a screwdriver, tell it to get into its place here, yeah. stay in your lane, get right in there where you belong, and then push this upwards. And then that should sort it basically. You should just come out of that hole. So just make sure you do that. So once the wires peekaboo out of here like that. You've done it well. Put your screw back in, that goes right over there. So now what you do is you feed these wires in through here and out through that chimney. And then put it back into place how it was before. So now we click it back into place. And then screw it up with the two little screws that go there. There we go, done. Now you get your beautiful Dyson Digital Motor V10. Anyways, you slide it into its holder like so after you give it a good dusting with a brush. So BRB. So the motor slides into its holder like so. You push it in and that is a very nice satisfying fit because it fits in beautifully like that. So now you can put it back into its designated area, but make sure the wires, so the top and the bottom wires, go through their designated holes. Right, so as you can see, I pushed the motor unit back into its home. That goes right in there. 
this little wire goes there, where it was basically, and these two wires need to be screwed in. Feed that through the hole and push it in securely. Clip it back into place. And then screw it up with the two screws that go here and here. You can now refit your cyclone assembly, but make sure that you put it on in the way that these lines here may top with these lines, so on this side and the other side, so it goes on properly. And you hold it into place. Oh, I've never done that properly, have I? Whoopsie doopsie. There we go. Now hold it in place until you screw up the screws. So there's six of them. One, two, three, four five and six obviously you just need a few screws for it to hold in place anyway but you need to put in all six screws so that's that i can put your battery on two screws here and one screw on the handle now you can put your bin on like so and congratulations you've done your v10 make sure that your filter is absolutely clean and bone dry before you put it back in and boom v10